I've been asked to make a short video of my water collection system. So I'm going to just blast through this really quickly. Um, I have a really small roof here. It's about 20 square feet or so, but it really does when it, when we get a good rain, it'll fill that bucket. That's about 50 gallons, I guess. Over here on my main roof, I've got a collection system that collects well, this is the uh, rabbit hutch roof, and it fills that barrel in no time. And it takes a couple rains to fill this 275-gallon IBC off of the main roof of the greenhouse. And it goes straight into it. But just to outline what's going on here, this is pretty much my dump. Um, I can get water right out of the IBC, unfiltered, through that tap. I can switch hoses over it. This is county water and it comes in. I've got a shutoff valve right over there. And so in the winter time, I generally shut all this stuff off, but the water comes up here, goes to a float valve. So my water never gets below that point there. And if it rains, it fills up. It doesn't need to use county water, but this assures that my plants will always have water. So coming off of here, this goes over to a water filter. This water filter is right here, up under here. And it feeds the greenhouse, and it also feeds both of these pipes. Now I'm using the the grow bag system, the rain gutter grow system, and it's all on float valves. And it auto fills these pipes. If you're not familiar, go to Larry Hall's site and you'll figure out what uh, the rain gutter grow system is. And this is a raised bed garden that uses, uh, it uses a special drip, not drip, uh, soaker hose. And it's specially made for uh, rain barrels and so all of this water is filtered and it also supplies water into here because my IBC is raised up so it's higher than the water in here and this also has float valves it's a similar system to what's going on outside uh, the only other thing that I have is I've tapped off right here incidentally these are all dump valves so when I shut it down for the winter I can dump all my water out but this little tube I have running out to the rabbit bin the rabbit hutch and it's all wired not wired but plumbed in with uh, these little chicken uh, water feeder things and I'm trying to figure out how to keep those from freezing this winter as well. That's about it. That's that's the water system. That's the water system at a glance. I hope I've answered your questions. And as usual, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, this is just a quick one, but we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.